it's important that when God speaks to us, that we don't just listen to Him, but we also obey what He tells us to do. So today, I want to share a story to you guys about a guy named Jonah from the Bible who had to do exactly that. So one day, God told Jonah to go to a place called Nineveh to go tell the people there to stop doing all of their evil things and to turn to God. So where is Jonah? Yes, he is right there with God. He heard exactly what God had told him. So now Jonah knew what God wanted him to do. But did he obey? Where's Jonah now? Yes, there he is on the boat. But why is he on the boat? Did God not tell him to go to Nineveh? So why is he on the boat? Because he was doing what he wanted to do and not what God had told him to do. But why? He does not want the people of Nineveh to be forgiven. So while they were on the boat, there was this huge and crazy storm. There was thunder and lightning and huge waves. And everyone on the boat was so fearful and afraid. So where is Jonah in all of this? Oh, there he is in the water. What's he doing there? Jonah knew that what he did was wrong. So he told the other people on the boat to throw him off into the sea so that the storm would stop. But now where is Jonah? There he is in the big fish. What's he doing there? Wow, God ordered the big fish to come and swallow Jonah up for three whole days. And while he was in there, Jonah prayed to God. And when he prayed to God, God ordered the big fish to spit him back out onto the land. And God reminded Jonah of what he told him in the beginning, to go to Nineveh and tell the people to stop doing all their evil things and turn to him. Isn't it incredible how God gave Jonah a second chance to obey him? Do you think he will obey God now? Well, let's see. Where is Jonah now? There he is in Nineveh, doing what God told him to do. He told people in Nineveh to stop doing all their evil things and turn to God. And they did turn to God. Amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome story. And I hope for you personally that when God speaks to you, you will not only listen, but you will also obey him.